Hey guys, Vizello here. So, Samsung's newest phone is currently the Samsung Galaxy S9, and it's a very powerful phone, and probably later this year we'll also be seeing the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. However, I wanted to talk about something else today, and that is the Samsung Galaxy S10. So, this is obviously going to be Samsung's, probably they're going to be their next phone for next year, for 2019. Now, we don't really know what this phone is going to be, but we this it's most likely that's going to be a very very big upgrade over what we have now and the reason for that is because this is the 10th phone in the S lineup so obviously Samsung's you know probably want to celebrate that by maybe doing something insane that we haven't seen before by them. But before I get into my thoughts, I would really like to see your thoughts on this in the comments. So if you have your own thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S10 or my opinions, then like I said, please leave them in the comments. But anyways, let's just keep going. So in my opinion, I think that Samsung has really been trying to push as hard as they can towards a bezel-less future. And I think that the S10 is probably going to be their full vision of that. I would expect the Samsung Galaxy S10 to be like the Vivo Next or the Vivo Apex, where it has very, very little bezels, and it's just that idea that's just been so refined by Samsung. Maybe Samsung is able to put the front-facing camera in some sort of really interesting position so that they can still have the bezels extremely thin while still having a front-facing camera, but I don't know. I think that they want to keep the front-facing camera definitely, but I just I feel like Samsung's S10 to celebrate their 10th smartphone in the S lineup they're probably going to want to celebrate it with a bang by fully executing their vision of a bezel-less smartphone. That's what at least I think they would do. Specs-wise, it would probably just have like the Snapdragon 855, which is probably going to be the next generation like mainstream processor for smartphones that run Android. But I also feel like in the software department, we're going to see some overhauls, maybe just to like visual overhauls and maybe upgrade Bixby because Bixby is currently in pretty poor condition nobody really uses Bixby at all but definitely it seems like something that Samsung would do in my opinion I feel like that they'd want to re like renovate the OS just to make sure that uh, like everything that they can captures your attention if it's not the specs then maybe having a new clean looking OS will make you ca well like I said catch your attention but of course there's no real evidence behind that it's just guessing at this point but that's what i would like to see besides that samsung's probably going to keep the headphone jack actually not probably they're definitely going to keep the headphone jack i can't see samsung for their 10th anniversary phone in the s lineup just giving up on the headphone jack they also may upgrade the speakers and all that but of course that's just like as we see every year upgrades minimal to major upgrades of every new phone so that would that would be expected over the Samsung Galaxy S9 to the S10. But like I said, the main feature of this phone would be probably, in my opinion, what I think they would do would be by having very, very little bezels. Because, like I said, Samsung would probably want to execute their vision of a bezel-less future for their 10th anniversary smartphone in the S lineup. So, something else I want to talk about. There's also been rumors for a while talking about the Samsung Galaxy X. And that would be like this weird bendable smartphone that you can just like almost like bend it and just put it on your arm pretty much so it would be kind of like a smartwatch too and you just use it like that and it wouldn't crack the screen because it would bend it would be so flexible i don't know if samsung would do this to celebrate their 10th smartphone i personally wouldn't want to see this to celebrate in the s lineup i just i would rather see a completely different lineup so i don't think that we're going to see that as for the samsung galaxy s10 maybe as a different phone but for the S10, I'm just, I'm really betting on the fact that we're going to see a conventional smartphone from Samsung, however, with very, very thin bezels. That's just, that's what I would expect. Alright, so let's talk pricing. So, usually Samsung smartphones have had a premium price, and I'm betting that they're probably going to keep up that trend because, like, this is going to be the 10th phone, so obviously they're going to want to overhaul the specs, well, not just the specs, but make it as premium as possible. At least that's what I would expect out of the Samsung. So, I would expect it to not relatively be cheap, and following the patterns of previous Samsung smartphones, they probably would not be a budget phone. But anyways, those are just my opinions, if you have your own opinions, then please leave them in the comments, and I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, then please check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description, and again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.